All right, folks, today I'm going to show you what a, an old high school friend that I haven't seen except maybe one time for a few minutes in the last 20 years gave my brother something to give me as a gift. Um, the first part is this wooden canoe that hangs on the wall like that. Uh, and what's inside this bag right here is so cool, folks. I cannot believe that somebody would just give these away like this because personally these things are very old I'm going to say 50 to 60 years old at least I'm going to say they were made in the 50s and 60s uh, but what they are is a bag full of antique lures crankbaits top water there's about 10 of them total I'm going to show you guys each one uh, I believe most of them are Arborgast, and there's one other brand, and I can't think of the name until I actually read it. Uh, but let me get these unhooked, and we'll look at each one together. This one here is an old spook, I guess you call it. Like a Zara spook. And, and for the most part, they're in excellent shape. This is so old that it's made out of wood. And it's a topwater lure, an old Zare spook, or that you walk the dog with. And boy, we talk about good quality hooks on them. Very cool. So what you do is you hang this canoe up on the wall and you place the lures on here as like a display. What would be good to do is put even more nails on there where they can actually set or something for them to hang on, kind of like. Well, that's the first lure, the, the old style spook. This here is supposed to be a crawfish, and it's the old kind that had the metal thing here that you tied it on to. It is called a mud bug, and it is made by Fred Arbogast. These were definitely 50s and 60s style. They still sold them in the 70s, but the style itself came out in the 50s. Um, pretty good shape I could clean these up and make them look even nicer this one here same thing it's the mud bug style of uh, shape but it's white and black obviously made by Arbogast too I would say what it is these plates right here is metal but I believe this is just wood with paint on it very cool guys very very cool I really appreciate him giving me these because I have thought about collecting antique lures at one point and just have never got around to it. I believe this is an Arbor Gas too, and I remember using these as a kid but had the little spinner coming out the rear there like a little spinner. This is obviously a baby bass. Very good shape. Almost near mint. No rust. It's real the paint is just almost flawless. These have not been used for for some time I'd say they've been sitting for at least 30 or 40 years these came out before I was born so just the thought of that is really cool see this one has wood underneath right there it is wood it has a big chip missing but this is also an armor gas a little smaller guy looks kinda like a crayfish as well it makes you realize how much lures have came over the over the years how much they've advanced because back then you really didn't have a lot to choose from and the colors weren't so wild this obviously an Arbogast too same style it's got the spinner coming out of the rear this is more of a silverish gray and white probably imitated a shad back then very cool pretty good condition next one is pretty much the same thing almost all of them are that same style and that was the style of crankbaits back then and this one's pretty neat it's almost like a yellowish honey mustard color with black stripes down it and this one don't look like it's been used at all the hooks are still shiny spinner maybe a little bit not so much still 
still in near mint condition and this would actually still work these days that's the crazy thing about it if you used it long enough it would still work every one of these has that same bill on them where they used metal bills instead of plastic like they do nowadays it's always metal inside the wood this one obviously kind of like a perch imitation got the metal plate again made out of wood and it's green and yellow and they all got that pointy end on them and it's got silver metallic flakes embedded in the paint and they're still on there these are these were probably only used by one person, which would have been Eric's father, the person that gave them to me. And, uh, you know, like you can tell, these haven't been used very much. This one's a red and white one. I call it Clown. Got the metal plate in there. Very simple back then. Torpedo shape. Yeah, we got one left, and it's another one just like the one I just showed you, except it's a smaller version of the Perch. Looks like a perch, got the metallic flakes in it. Smaller, it's only like a two inch model. Now I'd like to thank Eric Bullard for giving me these. I will definitely take good care of them. I won't use them, even if I run out of every lure I got. I will not use these because that will just increase the uh, wear and tear on them, so I'm not about to do that. These are going to get hung up on my wall in the canoe and uh, I have to say my favorite one is this honey mustard one that's pretty cool but I, I will get these hung up on my wall as a display and like I said uh, I'd like to thank Eric Bullard for giving me this wonderful gift I really appreciate it it means a lot to me buddy uh, so I decided to make this video uh, to show my appreciation to you Alright, until next time, you guys hit that like button and please subscribe.